Welcome everybody, this here is my S22 Ultra and it's running Android 30. One UI 5.0, oops, yeah. Never works from the first time, one step back, Android 13. So beautiful, right? Every time I try to just press here my fingerprint scanner, I'm gonna be just greeted with all these very fancy icons. Who really cares about this? Just let's get to the real stuff, guys. Um, yeah, welcome to my channel, guys. And I'm using a screen protector, which is very awful. And I just feel like I punish myself, but I just do a video, not a video about it. So now just back to the Samsung One UI 5.0. Now a lot of people will just ask, what is new, guys? Because it pretty much looks the same, right? How good are the animations? For example, this one. We know that, or at least I know that I have a problem with this animation no longer, right? So there's some things like opening the camera, closing the camera, that pretty much work flawless if I'm just able to get it because again, I'm using this goddamn screen protector and it just killed me myself. This video about the best features that you are able to find inside One UI 5.0 and have in mind that's the only first beta. It's gonna be beta 2, beta 3 until we just see the final product. But guys, hold your breath, hold your horses, don't expect quite too much because it's One UI 5.0 and then we have Android, right? And Samsung is Samsung, right? First thing you're gonna notice when I unravel all my notification in front of you is that the notification definitely got the Android 13 Google Touch. Very big icons, by the way, also icon stacking. So you have multiple icons from the same application. They should be really stacked mm, under another. I'm not sure why this is not the case right now, but again, that's a better software. Else, if we just go and check all the quick settings, you will not find anything new, right? So you might be a bit disappointed, unless, of course, you click here, and then you see there is also something called the active apps that I've covered on my Pixel 6 and in all of my Android 13 review. And I, by the way, highlighted all the new features from One i 5 that I think make sense and put them in community posts, right? But I promise you guys, I'm gonna do a video. So this is the video. And don't get me wrong, this is not gonna be the One UI 5 review. We still need to wait until we get hands on the final product. So this is going to just focus on some of the new features or let's say the new looks. And speaking about new looks, one thing we have to of course say is when you hold your finger like this on the home screen and you go to the wallpaper and styles, you're gonna see that now under color palette, you're gonna have more color options. So apparently Samsung is still trying to adapt more and more from the monotheming. So right now you're gonna have four, another four, eight, Okay, then we have 12, 16 options, right, to choose from the wallpaper colors or the basic colors, right? So I'm just going to demonstrate. And by the way, another funny part in One UI 4.1 here, all the menu titles were just black. Now, this also is going to get redesigned with the color that you choose. I just think, you know, it's a welcome step. Definitely Samsung moving into the right direction. So, oh my God, my screen protector, guys. I'm just thinking off topic, guys. I'm just thinking how many days I'm gonna last with this screen protector until I just completely remove it. But it's gonna be probably a whole lot of video. So something very important to say about the One UI, besides the fact that it's a beta, is some of the main things that I do use do not work. Google Wallet is not certified, so if you're using your phone to pay for some of your goods, then this is not gonna work until, of course, Google certifies it and Samsung kind of moves along with the beta. All right, but this is first things first, so I just show you the color options, and I'm gonna use now the opportunity to go inside the settings and just show you the same menu, guys. Here, the settings is completely redesigned in terms of color, so of course, this was a fake, it's not completely redesigned. This here is the settings, and as you can see, settings, color is also obtained from the color palette. The digital well-being has also been redesigned and again you can just see here you know you get a bit of more theming. There's some quite new stuff. If you go inside the connections you're gonna see something called the ultra wideband for the Wi-Fi connection identify the precise location of the nearby devices. So this is also something new and also a whole new tab called connected devices. 
which is really something I like because it will give you an option to manage everything that connects to and from your phone, like your headphones, your car, and you know, using your tablet, the S7 or S8, whatever, Samsung Dex Smart View, Android also for the rich people out there. So plenty of stuff. But also, sounds and vibration menu is redesigned a bit. Now you're gonna have here the vibration settings, the intensity, and if you play a bit around, you're gonna see that some of the menus are just merged or just look a bit different. There are also some new ringtones, one particularly created by the South Korean band BDS. Um, yeah, whatever. Not sure, not listen, I just use some standard sounds, but inside the settings menu, guys, there's also something else drawing attention, and this is the so-called security and privacy, which, by the way, now looks really Android 13-ish. You have the lock screen there, you have Find My Bonwild, the app security, the updates. Under updates, you know, you're able to check for security updates for also your Google Play System update, but you know, the best thing I like is that they put the account back. So now you're able to create a guest account for your phone. And of course, also check all of your other accounts. So all of these guys under security, of course, have the biometrics. They have the Samsung Pass, the secure folders, the private share, and etc. and etc. And also the secure Wi-Fi, which is something that I covered extensively in some of my other videos. And I want to draw your attention here to something called the advanced features. Why? because inside the advanced features, there is always the love sections, and where do all the new things go? Yeah, of course, in the love section. Now, under the love sections, guys, you're gonna see two things. They are new, and also not so new, because we had pop-ups, we have click twin before, but right now, guys, we have an option to swipe for a pop-up view, and I'm gonna show you, right, just using your finger, and also swipe for a split screen, and this is really why I like Samsung, you know, all these little things just made easier. And I did also a community post about why I really think that Samsung now are upping the game of the smartphone market. This is probably the best device, besides of course the Fold 4 is Live 4, that you can just buy with money and use it. It will pretty much do everything you need. I'm just going to show you, all right? So I'm gonna go inside my Telegram, all right? I'm gonna go and in one of my chats, so let's say here, I do post all my new videos, so let's see, I wanna chat with somebody while I'm reviewing something, I just take two fingers, I do like these guys, and immediately I'm going to have the option with the split screen. So let's say I want to watch YouTube in the same time. Easy, right? I can now have a chat here, all right? I can also do something in YouTube there, and of course now all the familiar things. Click here, boom, you can move it around. If I wanna get YouTube on full screen, I just will take this, all right, and drag it down, or let's say I just wanna have YouTube bigger than this window, but if I just take my finger and drag it down long, I'm gonna go back to this full mode, and now the best part about the pop-up view. I just take the finger, put it like this, guys, all right? If my screen protector allows me, of course, and you see what happens? I'm gonna get a window like this. I tested this, this is very, very convenient, and you can do this with up to five applications. I do think that One UI 4 one supported only four, so now let's say I wanna put a Telegram like this, okay, I'm gonna have Telegram and also YouTube, and they will appear here, so I can of course also try to move them along, so if I open now my Telegram, I can try to resize it, I'm also, able to open my YouTube like this, and it pretty much gives you a feeling of a desktop system. So let's try to open Viber, okay, so I'm just going to go to the recent menu. Now everything's gonna get minimized, and I do believe that you are also able to modify and put this as well, so let me just try to open Viber, guys, and show you, so Viber, all right, now I'm gonna go into my recent menu, and now I'm going to have all these two applications. Again, you can just go up to five, close everything you want. Let's speak about widgets for a moment. In One UI 4.1, we were able to stack some widgets by using a special widget called Smart Widget. In One UI 5, things just got easier. And this is why I just use the word easy every time I do speak about One UI 5. Let me show you. I have here my Spotify, right? I do have here the alarm, the clock, my battery and device key, and also the weather. So how? Can I stack those widgets? I mean, it will be really like a kid using some playing blocks. Very easy, guys. Hold it, put it there, boom. Hold it, put it there, boom. And one more to go. Hold that one, the weather one, and just put it there, all right? So see what we will have now? Weather, the alarm clock, 
the Spotify and also my battery and device care everything working everything clickable and this is why I like One UI this really means decluttering your desktop all right so right now you're just gonna have one widget it's gonna be the weather if you want a weather press the weather right it's up to you to choose so weather clock we have also the Spotify and the battery and the device care. So this here is the improvement that One UI 5 will offer to the widget. And of course, you are also able to hold a finger there and edit the stack and you can auto rotate the widgets. And there are really plenty of things that you can do. Or of course, also delete the widget one by one. Of course, right now I'm just going to be left with nothing. Yeah, free screen. I mean, yeah, is this not fancy, right? One UI 5 will also give you some nice new options while just using your phone as, yes, your phone. Let me share, guys. That's the operator, all right? I will tap the edit button. I will hit here view more. And by the way, you see all these colors? Yeah, that's really material to you. I can just go down, guys, and I can select a call background for each and every individual contact, right? You can just use custom videos, whatever you like, right? And by the way, you have seen this dialog box, right? This is here the new Android 13, right? Style of notifications in terms of permissions and etc. But there are plenty of other things. Let me just show you guys. I'm just gonna call the operator. These are things that are already shown. But why am I doing a video? So somebody's calling me and he's about to tell me something important. I can click here while I'm in the call and click take notes. All right. And of course, here I can use my S Pen. Let me show you. I'm not so lazy. So of course, you can take a number. You can do whatever you want. And of course, it's also in this very familiar pop-up style. And yeah, then you can just go back and hang up. And while I have the S Pen in my hand, guys, I'm going to use it. While I was on vacation, I was able to find the one real use case for myself, just editing my videos with the use Pen and the Power Director. All right, so right now I am in the camera domain and I wanted to share with you guys the new things. Now, there are not really plenty of new things, maybe just two. Of course, first one is the watermark. I posted samples. So you can just get your model name. Right now I have the S22 Ultra. You can of course change it whatever you want. You can also get the date and time and you can of course choose the alignment. So yeah, if you ask me, that's not really a big thing, but it's good that Samsung decided to include this. But there are more. If we click inside more guys and we just go inside the pro video, you're gonna notice something that's also new. And this is the so-called histogram, right? But you can click minimize and maximize and something right something that i think is just very neat is the fact that they have included here a back arrow that you can tap and just go back to the original menu which was not present in the one ui photo one else inside the camera i will say right now they're not really new things but hopefully hopefully samsung are gonna add more new things um not to mention bring back some of the things they have removed like for example see here guys i'm not able to get here this special focus and handsome mode that existed into the s22 ultra and i know that uh, it's, and i hope that samsung are just gonna put it back else it's gonna be a feature that yeah has been removed from us there's gonna be some more interesting things, like for example, while you're browsing, you can just do a screenshot. The preview of the screenshot is actually gonna get bigger, so while displayed, and then guys, the best part, once you click it and you open it with the gallery, this magical T symbol will appear. And this is quite nice. I think already you know what it does, but let me just show you guys. You are able to just extract text from a picture okay or from a photo so this is not just valid to screenshots guys right you can just do this from everywhere you want let me try to create a new note and while i'm here i'm going to choose the keyboard and then paste it voila here it is now i think this really came from android 13 so now you're able to extract text let me see if this is going to work here from a picture like i told you but i have the feeling that absolutely right so right now boom the software is analyzing it so i can just copy now sony whatever i need so yeah those things really are not some very huge or very big updates guys they're incremental slow even probably baby steps but keep in mind what i said one i5 is all about being easy and i really do hope that samsung 
will make it easier at the end. Don't forget to check my One i 5 install video if you want to get your hands on it without waiting like I did. And don't forget to subscribe for the channel because more One i 5 videos will come like benchmarks, like starter tests, animation tests. And I do know that a lot of you are here for this. But right now, this was probably one of the first video to be made. Please stay safe, you and your families, and don't forget to come back for more. VST over and bye.